Hare Krishna and welcome back to You're Not That Body. My name is Raja Velasani Devi Dasi and I had an amazing question from a friend of mine. We've been speaking for quite some time now about the fact that we're not this body and it did take her a little while to come to understand it, which is fine because it did for me as well. And I think that sometimes the questions that people ask, especially when they're new, we forget that people don't know how this all works. So it was a really great question that I wanted to share with you. Her question was, if we get up in the morning and we cleanse ourselves, so we go to the bathroom, we brush our teeth, we have a shower, we put on clean clothes, so our body is cleansed, how do we cleanse our heart and our soul? And I thought that was a really great question. So first of all, let's go into the heart and soul part. Within our heart space, not the, not the physical part, but the heart space, there's two souls. So there's Krishna, there's a spark of Krishna within all of us, in all living beings. And there's also our Jiva soul, which is our soul, and that soul goes on with us to the next body. So remembering we're not this body, we are the soul. So when we cleanse ourselves, we can also think of the same as when we leave our body. So remember those stacking dolls that you got when you were a kid? So if you take off that first layer, that's our physical body. So we take that off and underneath there's another one. And that other one is our spirit, soul and our heart. And that can be cleansed in a few different ways, but break it down to loving devotional service to Krishna. The first way that we probably, most of us do that in the mornings is altar worship. And I have a link from um, another video that I did and I'll put that down below about altar worship. But you can also do, if you don't have an altar, japa, so chanting around, hearing and remembering about Krishna. So always remember Krishna, never forget Krishna. You can also do other worship at home. That could be giving class from home or helping out devotees with other works. You may help your local preaching center or your temple from home. So you might do administrative work from home for them or other things. And then there's actually going to the temple as well. So your local temple or preaching center will always have service opportunities. I promise you, if you walk in and say you want to help, they'll find something for you to help with. And that could be cleaning. It could be making garlands. It could be serving the deities. It could be making food. It could be helping dress the deities. It could be helping with children's activities, preaching, book distribution. It really goes on and on. There are so many ways you can help, but it's not even just that. There's outside of that, so think out of the box. So they might need help with marketing. They might need help with administration work, as we said. They might need help with fundraising. There's, it really is endless possibilities of the way that you can serve the Lord. And the good part about this is, we are all very different in what our abilities are. So I'm not very physically strong, so lifting things and, and doing things like that is not probably something that I would be very useful at and probably wouldn't be any help. And I feel like I would probably get in the way if it was physical manual stuff that I was asked to do. However, I'm very good at um, helping with administrative work and helping with websites and things like that. So, you know, that's things that I'm good at. So I offer my service and I've been asked to help in those kind of ways. So all of us are good at different things and, and we like different things. And, you know, even the garlands, that's where I very first started was I was given a service opportunity to help make garlands for the devotees and I had no clue. But there was a lovely lady named Sita, one of the devotees, and she sat down with me and showed me how to make the garlands. And honestly, it was such an amazing service that was very simple to do. So someone who was brand new could do it. And, you know, even though my garlands were quite simple, I enjoyed it and I did it with loving devotional service. But as you go, you can learn more, you can make more creative garlands, you can find different ways to do things. And it's like that with everything really, isn't it? In life, you start off simple and you expand and you learn and the more people you meet and the more you practice, the better you get. So those are all ways that you can cleanse your heart. And by doing this, we are also practicing loving devotional service for Krishna. If you have any more questions, please do pass them on. I'm still working through a little bit of a list, but I'm absolutely loving it. And I very much look forward to serving you. Hare Krishna.